All right, guys, in this video, we're going to do two things. We're going to set up our text editor, which is VS Code, and we're going to set up the Python sandbox, which is basically just a set of files that we're going to use in the next section when we look at Python fundamentals. Okay. Um, now, the next section, if you're already if you're already comfortable with Python and things like functions and conditionals and dictionaries and different data types and structures and stuff like that, then you can completely skip that section and move on to Django. But if you're not that comfortable with Python or if you've never used Python, I would definitely recommend watching the, the whole next section and using the sandbox. Okay, now as far as your text editor, you, of course, you don't have to use VS Code. If you want to use Atom or Sublime Text or an IDE like PyCharm or uh, Eclipse or something like that, that's absolutely fine. But we'll be using uh, Visual Studio Code, so we're just going to do some some basic setup here. So if you want to download it, you can go to code.visualstudio.com. It's cross platform Mac, Windows, Linux. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to go through the install process. It's very, very self-explanatory. So let's jump into VS Code. So if you just downloaded it and install it, you'll see a welcome screen. You can just go ahead and close that up. And with VS Code, you have a, a whole host of extensions you can install. If you click on this icon here, You can see these are the extensions that I have on this machine. Uh, we actually want to install the Python extension. So if you search for Python, it's going to be the first one. You can see it has almost 15 million downloads. So we're going to go ahead and install that. Okay, once it installs, you just click reload and now it's installed and that will give us things like linting and telesense, uh, highlighting all types of stuff. If you want to read more about it, you can just click on here and you can go through all this stuff if you want. All right. So now what I want to do is open up the sandbox files in VS Code. And if you're using a different text editor, just go ahead and open the files up in whatever you're using. So on my desktop, I have the Python sandbox starter zip file, which you should have in this lecture. I'm going to go ahead and extract that. And this is what I want to open up, but I'm just going to rename it to Python sandbox. rather than just, you know, Python sandbox starter. And if I go to VS Code, I'm just going to go to open file or open folder. I'm going to go to my uh, where is it? My desktop, which I'm already on and Python sandbox. Okay, so in here you'll see all the different files. We just want to click open and we should get all of those on the side here. Okay, so I'm just going to open up one of these files. Variables.py is the first one we're actually going to be working with. These are just comments. Nothing is going to come of this. We'll be adding on to this later, uh, but I just wanted to open up a Python file. Now, if you type something in here and then just delete it and save control S or command S, you may get a pop up that asks about Python linting. Uh, it's up to you if you want to use that linter or not. We're going to be using linting later on when we get into Django, but I'm not going to use it for the 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 um, for the next section. So you can disable it if you want or whatever. So to run these files, there's a there's a few ways we can do it in VS Code. We're going to take the simple route and just run Python 3 and then whatever the file is like variables.py and that will run it. We don't have any output here because there's nothing to output to output. If I said like print one here and then we ran it, we'd get one. Okay. now it's important to run it with Python 3 and it depends on how your system set up. If you're using Windows and you install Python, chances are if you just do Python, that's version 3 and you can easily check by doing a dash dash version. You can see on my system it's 2. But if I do Python 3 dash dash version, that's version 3. Okay, and when we start to use virtual environments and stuff, we will we'll no longer have to use Python 3. We'll just be able to use Python, but we'll get into that later. So that's how we're going to run our files for now. Um, another thing you could do is go to your debugger in VS Code, which is um, uh, this right here. And if you want to set this up, you want to do a uh, command shift P. In fact, you should do this anyway, and then just search for Python and go to select interpreter. Okay. now later on, when we work in virtual environments, our virtual environment will actually show up here and that's what we'll have to choose. But for now, we just want to make sure we choose 3.7 or, or 3. Point whatever. Um, the whatever version you're using, as long as it's Python, Python 3. All right. And then down here, you can see that it actually now says Python 3.7. So I could run this file. Let me put the print back here. So I could run this file now by simply clicking the play button. 
and choosing Python. And now you can see that it ran. It's going to give us like the whole path and all that stuff. But you can see it ran because it printed out one. If I want to change this to, let's say, print a string. Hello, world. And we'll get into strings and all that stuff later. But if I go ahead and press play. And it runs. So if you want to do it that way, you can. But I think just putting in the file name is is uh, is an easier way to do it. So it's it's up to you guys how you want to do it. And of course, if you're using a different terminal, I'm sorry, a different text editor, um, you know, you, you can do it however you want. I'm sure there's different ways to 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 run a file. All right. So now that we're set up in the next section, we're going to start off talking about variables and, and data types, how variables are constructed, things like that. And we'll go through pretty much all the, the basics of Python and then we'll jump into our Django application.